I would like to put it on camera and thank Kieran Hunt and Carlin Burkhart for being my saviors this weekend. They were the best big brothers anyone could have asked for, and they saved my life. Thank you. See you. My name's Jared, and I'm going across Canada so that I can come back and catch every single Fringe Festival I possibly can and ask as many people as possible what is Fringe Theatre and Canadian Theatre and what's its place in North America and well, this is that. Hello, my name is Jeremy Banks and I am currently driving the Soccer Mom Mobile back from D-Fest. Um, yeah, the festival was a variety of uh, the festival was an interactive presentation of student, uh, some student written plays, others professionally written, uh, acted in and directed by other students. We were in the UFV Directors Festival in Chilliwack, my hometown, and I would best describe it as a theater kid wank off hookup that. Uh, holy Trinity of college mayhem. That um, I'm really glad I got a chance to uh, like coord like help coordinate the VIU group going. The festival, for our viewers. the festival was a shit show. <laughs> See. <laughs> well, my favorite show was Heart of Sorrow for certain. Uh, very very well done show. My favorite show was uh, was definitely a show called Little Sisters um, that was produced by the UFV crew in their main stage theater, um, and I loved it. Uh, you hear about these standing ovations over and over again, and uh, props go to SFU. Uh, I didn't see any of those shows, but I wish I did. Favorite show is, d despite of like Cap having their pretty decent overall things, and the girl from UVic actually writing her own show, and. All the good production value SFU brought. The best show was Savage Love by UFD. It was just such a great twist on making making someone come in from the audience, give you a show, give you musical dance, give you a full experience, give you an, give you just an experience of make you experience those words in so many different ways, and then it just dismisses it and walks away. UFD may have done the show. I think it was the bar scene and Women in Heat. Uh, great sense of style. I liked everything about it sound, the lighting, and the acting, and I think they were both very well directed and produced. Favorite show um, would have to be the hockey game, and Canucks ruined the day. I got more of a sense of the professional side of theater and how things work in a general area. That's my context. Got some ideas for shows, got some ideas for directions. That I want to take with my own projects. It was really cool. It was just really cool to, uh, to uh, be in a plot with a whole bunch of other people and experience kind of where the entire area and all the universities are at and what everybody's doing. Honestly, in all honesty, it made me just think that, well, it really was just a cemented look that our program is just as good as theirs. Granted, they have more hands-on experience, and hands-on experience is so well, but it gave me more of a pride in Mouse being a theater and what I'm doing there, and it makes gives me more, you know, initiative, like more drive to go do things. I learned not to drink before a show. <laughs> that is all. Oh, and that free hamburgers taste like victory. <laughs> so, that too. I thought they were uh, received very well. We had a lot of positive feedback from all the plays, um, especially ours and your guys' one-man shows. So I think it was a positive experience in the end. My projects received were received really well. Um, my shows, I got a lot of people just asking how we could I could do a one-man show. Um, I had some people telling me that I really almost changed their life with my performance, which was a bit weird. My projects. Very, very well. Working on uh, three projects all together. All three shows uh, had great kind of reviews. Uh, lots of people were interested in seeing what's going on. Um, I got standing ovations the first time in my life. <laughs> Shocked the crap out of me. My project was Catch with Carla Burkhart.
perspective by Kieran Hunt. Res received fairly well. Um, I think everyone enjoyed the fact that Carly got to hit me a few times. And, um, yeah. Have you watched? I didn't. Would you recommend this to other people? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm, since I'm, well, I'm doing one act and I've already I'll volunteer to handle the She'll handle the festival and like coordinating with them again next year. So yes, I will be going. I uh, will be hopefully going again next year. And I'm hope I'm gonna be keeping my eye out. I'm gonna go home and look at a lot of super new scripts and stuff like that. Just to find something interesting and new to bring to it next year. And I'm gonna be on the look lookout for new people to bring to this festival. And Monique. Um, I'm just that gonna find rude. what? Bring some people in just so they can get get more broader experience. I had a great time, and I would definitely think about coming back again in some time in the future. Would you recommend it to other people? I definitely would. Definitely and would. All you, all you kids out there, if this is turning into some sort of like campaign video, <laughs> we choose you. Really, it's just a great bonding experience with your fellow students. And, yeah, I had a blast going to not-so-great topless parties, really creepy hookup parties. I had a blast meeting jackass actors. At a blast meeting people that are too pretentious for their own good. Okay. So I should get a little more serious here. Um, it actually was really good. Got to meet a lot of people. Didn't get any Facebook names, but you know, that's okay. It's a small world, right? I'll find them. Um, it was really cool seeing other plays. Uh, it was really cool. Tim Heron, I noticed the lighting a lot. <laughs> Thanks a lot for that one. Comment. People thought I was 23. What? <laughs> they did? <laughs>